Hi everyone, this is Josh Galvin with tizish.com and on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to put a Facebook like box on your site. And if you don't know what a like box is, this is what a Facebook like box is. How to put one of these on your website. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So here's what you first have to do. First, go to your actual fan page. So I'm going to go to my tizish fan page as you see here. And now when you come to the tizish fan page, just have this open and now open up a separate tab on Google and type the following. Type in Facebook social plugins. Type in that word and then the first result that comes up is going to be here, social plugins. Click on that and now scroll down. Basically what all this is, by the way, these are all the Facebook tools, the free Facebook tools that you could put on your site. And um, I'm not going to go into all of them right now. I'm only going to cover the like box. So for this sake, what you want to do is click on the like box here. And now you're going to end up on a page just like this. All right, so this is where you set up your like box. But first, what you need to do is get your Facebook page ID Okay, before we go over everything else. So to get your Facebook page ID, go to your Facebook fan page here we are again click on edit page and now when you click on edit page in your URL you see the long URL right here it says ID equals and it has all these numbers all the way up to the and sign so see between the equal sign and the and sign that's your ID so what you need to do is copy that ID number go to your like box tab that you had just had which is here so where it says Facebook page ID delete this and now enter that new ID and when you'll see now when you click out of it it's gonna change this to the actual Tizish one because it's now connecting your ID with your fan page so this is basically a preview okay this section here this is a preview of what settings you choose here alright so here's what you should choose here's the recommended one um, Make sure the width is exactly the width of your of your page size. So let's say here on tizish.com, the width of your sidebar, it, the width of my sidebar is 300 pixels. This might not make sense to you what that means, but ask your web developer, ask your website people, what's the width of yours on your site? So what you want to do is put in something like 300 to be the width. And now when I click out of it, it's going to reload, and now it's a 300 width. Just to show you, if you don't put anything it's gonna have a default size so you could also put nothing I mean just give that a go see how it works on your page but I like to put the exact width either way try it try it with nothing first let's just see what happens with nothing okay so you put nothing and now this part that says connections that means how many of these people do you want to show I like to have 10 because uh, you don't want to have like 15 or 20 because it's just gonna to look too big at that point so having 10 is ideal so I'd like to leave it at that now the parts that are different are the following the stream and the header the stream is basically this it just shows your latest Facebook postings this is a this is your call there is no right or wrong but it's your call alright if you're actually doing a lot of postings here's a recommendation though if you're doing a lot of postings on Facebook on your fan page that you are not doing on your blog then show the stream if your if your Facebook fan page if your Facebook page is just showing all the same postings that you do on your website then don't show the stream. I personally don't like showing the stream, so I like to uncheck it. So it's up to you though, it's your preference. Now the next one that says header, this means this section here. Do you want it to say that? If you don't want this section here, and you want to remove that, then just uncheck show header. And there you go, here's your like box so far. Now comes the part where you need to get the actual code and insert it on your site. So what you gotta do is click on get code, and you can see there's two code types okay this is a different code type okay this is not gonna be this is gonna be for people that have what's called XFBML set up on their site you see how it says here XFBML is more flexible than iframes but requires you to use the JavaScript JavaScript SDK that might not make, make any sense to you but here's what it means when your website is built you have to have a certain coding from Facebook in order to use this kind of integration if your web system does not have this coding then you need to use the iframe this iframe will work on any website whether it's a WordPress site 
whether it's a type pad, whether it's your own website developer that just created pages, this will work on everything. So for the most part, for everyone on this tutorial, make sure that you choose iframe unless you're a Tizish client use the XFBML. You could still use the iframe as a Tizish client, but if you're not a Tizish client, then the, or if you are a Tizish client, use XFBML because we integrate Facebook with your site properly. So you can use XFBML. If you're a Tizish, if you're non, then use iframe. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use iframe. The next steps that I'm going to cover are the same exact thing, whether you copy and paste this piece of code or copy and paste this code. It's just going to be a matter of literally copying and pasting it into your site. So I'm going to take the iframe, I click on copy, and now I click on done. But you know, one thing, a little second ago, I said don't put a width. Instead, always put a width. I'm going to put 300, and I'm going to redo it. I'm going to get the code again, and I'm going, to I'm going to take it. Because I just realized you do have to have a width. So make sure you get a width. Now I click on done, and now let's go to our actual site. So I'm using the WordPress system on one of our demo sites, so here's what you got to do. Under your WordPress system, scroll down and go to under appearance there's a thing called widgets click on widgets and now we're gonna insert this we're trying to insert it into our sidebar so after clicking on widgets you're gonna be on a page just like this here's what you're gonna wanna do just take a widget and this is for all WordPress users take a widget called text take a text widget and put it into your sidebar the, the sidebar that you want so I just now put it in here now I'm gonna call this the demo demo video test just so you could see where this goes give it a title and now here just paste the code that we had copied here's the exact code we copied from Facebook remember the under this section here we copied this code and now I'm pasting it into this section here. Click on save and that's all you have to do. After doing that, go and let's look at your page. This is the one that was already there. We're going to ignore this, but here's the demo one we just did. Demo video test. It has the title of the widget and here's our like box. So that's how you integrate a like box with your site. And uh, the key thing I want everyone to remember if you're a if you're a Tizish client, you could use the XFBML. There is no prep. There is no right or wrong. If you're having trouble with one or the other, it doesn't really matter. But just everyone's free to use this one. Tizish clients could use this. So that's everything on this tutorial. If you have any questions, then go go to facebook.com forward slash Tizish and ask us the question. Then please refer what video you're you're curious about. All right. So that's everything. Good luck and take care.